Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the previous episode, we finished Fiona's side quest and restored the desert to a forest form. In this episode, we're going to be doing Robo's side quest, which involves, actually, right now getting rid of Amanda and replacing her with a frog. And that is because what we need to do is grab the golden stud off of him. And I'll give him back his uh, good old hero medal. I'm putting the golden stud muscle ring. Where are you? Gold stud on Daniel. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw the green dream. Actually, no, we'll go ahead and throw the power ring on Robo. And who's the last person I want in my party? <laughs> Results not had a lot of screen time. Let's throw him on. And first of all, we're gonna go ahead and go to Daniel's home. Goodness, Amanda, is this one of your inventions? Greetings, I am Robo. Daniel is my friend. My, how polite. Strange looking, but well behaved. Daniel, you can learn a thing or two. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, are you one of Daniel's friends? Another quiet one. Don't be shy, dear. Huh. Right, so, real quick. We're gonna head out to the end of time. That is too... Well... Actually, we should be fine. Just going 2300. All I was going to do is save and whatnot. Save, heal, and all that. But what we need to do is we have to find the Genodome, which we found before, but it was the wrong place to be at the time. Is this it? This is it. There we are. Let's go inside. And we actually need Robo at the front of the party. He must lead the way the entire time. So, let's go. Who enters here unbidden? Oh, welcome home, R66Y. Or should I say, Prometheus. You dared to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. That doesn't sound good. Let's see just what you can do. And we get thrown into a series of battles. This is easily done by getting Daniel to use Luminaire. Literally, a whole bunch of times. Why not? Plus, with the Golden Stud, he should be perfectly fine. MP-wise, that is. He should be able to crank a few out. Righto. So basically, we're gonna just have to kill a whole bunch of these. Literally, that's the entire conveyor belt. We're just gonna kill a whole bunch of them. Next battle. Just throw out another Luminaire. Robo leveled up. Good on him. Daniel is basically at max speed though, so he's like almost instantly available to battle at the at the start of any battle. He's pretty much quicker than most people. Zolt leveled up. And I imagine this is probably going to be the last one. Luminaire, and we should be off this belt. Now 
Let's get off this thing. Hell? Not bad for humans, but can you find your way to me? Well, I would hope so if we've gotten this far. Now this bit is actually confusing to me. As in, it's just confusing because it's like a giant puzzle. The way that you get to the mother brain. Who we actually need to get to. But hopefully I can figure it out. But I might mess up a couple times. 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster great, greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. Now, as you can see here, this robot will not let us pass. So, we're going to have to figure something out there. Let's check this area out. We just need to kill three more of them. Luminaire. This is the easiest way to go about killing all of them, to be honest. Now, if you see that sparkly thing in the bottom right corner, do not press it unless you want to go through that whole elevator shaft thing again, the conveyor belt. See that? Yeah, don't press it. Unless you want to, I mean, I wouldn't, but that's me two items that we can get once the battle's over. Daniel, almighty and powerful. Daniel leveled up. Hey, oh. Elixir, lapis. There's a conveyor belt. There's some robots over there. I'd imagine we have to go up this way to get him. Hello. Let's go over here first. Luminaire. We might have to use a couple MPs. Or elixirs, that is. Others. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just blurting out words until I find the right one. Right. Got one full tonic. Let's talk to this computer. This computer can give us data about the Geno Dome. What shall we examine first? Door. To open locked doors, simply charge the energy pods beside them. Energize first in the pod to your left, then enter the pod next to a locked door. Anything else? Yes. Conveyor belt. The belt conveyor to the right can be reversed with a switch above it. Anything else? Yep. Guard machine. The robot guarding the figurine will block anyone that tries to pass, but if you pl place two guards in front of each other, uh, they will short circuit. Return the broken guard to the room upstairs. Anything else? Yeah. Finally, the doll. You must obtain the two figurines on the floor to fight the mother brain. Do not leave with them. Anything else? Nope, we should be good. So we can use this to charge up. What does it mean by charge up? That's charged up, apparently. Take a look at that. Now, I'd imagine we probably can't stay charged up forever. Yeah, see, it disappeared. Right. Hello. We're under attack. Laser guard. Ultimate damage on all enemies. Yeah, that just dealt with pretty quick. Why not? leveled up and Robo leveled up. Always good. What's that do? Um, 
That does absolutely nothing, as far as I can see. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Does one of them open the door? I would hope one of them does. We're just gonna do random combinations until, uh, we figure out which one works. Uh, let's try this, and this. Okay, that opens this bit. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. I would guess that in order to get in there, we need to charge this. And then use this on that. Am I right? I am. Okay. And that gives us one of the dolls that we need. Right. So, that's done. That deals with that bit. Okay, um... What else can we do? We need to get this one down here. down here, charge this one up. What's in here? Just a couple chests. Full tonic. 50,000 gold. Always good. You're good. Do we have another one down here? Oh, is this a button? It's not a button. It's just a bit weird. Alright, we've gone in that. Let's see what's up here. We can go into that. That seems to be laser protected, so we can't go there yet. Um. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a secret there. But we can't go that way yet. How do I turn that laser off? <laughs> I'd imagine we need to power that up before we can do anything, so let's go ahead. I don't know if we'll be able to make it that far. Let's try it. Go on, Robo. No, we can't. Right. So what do we do here? We can't go to the left. Which leaves us stuck. To be honest. Hmm. We need to reverse the conveyor belt. So that... We are going the opposite way, but I don't see a switch anywhere that we can use at the moment. Okay, the door just magically opens. Why not? I thought we needed to find some kind of, like, lock contraption, but... Hey-oh. I'm not gonna complain. I should probably go ahead and use the shelter over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save. Right. Continue on. Luminaire. Oh, you smacked Zolt. Why? Did that one just smack one of its own? And it killed it. Well, that was actually a waste of Luminaire. So, oh well. Yeah, that was a waste. What's in this chest? Lapis. Alright. Huh, good job, Robo. Just jumped up in the air. Press. And then just walks off. That 
That's 15,000 gold. Always good. What's in here? What are they doing to the human? Hmm, a human processing plant? Let us stop the machine. No kidding. It's too well guarded. We have to destroy the central computer. Where's the central computer? Yeah, we, I'd imagine we can't get up there. All right. Full other. Right, can we go anywhere else? No. So we need to go this way. Right, where, where have we gone? We came from this way. That means we can either go up here. Let's check out the up here first, actually. Magic tab. And a mega elixir. Always good. Let's head up here. This is where that luminaire is going to come in useful. Luminaire. One, two, three, four, five, six targets. All down in one hit. Awesome. Oh, Zolt learned Dark, dark Bomb. Let's look at his text real quick. Text, Zolt. Next is Magic Wall. Ups Allies Magic Defense. Alright. We're under attack again. Luminaire. Now, you're probably not going to see, uh, Zolt's, um, text. I'll, su I'll be surprised if he gets a tech larger than Dark Bomb, that magic wall. I'll be surprised if he gets it. If he does, it'll probably be some point during this quest, to be completely honest. Right, so left or right? What's this? Oh, we're supposed to place the dolls down. Okay, well, we actually can't do the other one yet. Which means we've gone somewhere where we shouldn't have. Hmm. Now I must think of where we need to go now. How do I get... I need to figure out how to switch this. How do I switch the direction this thing goes? Because that one's not charged. I can't get past here. How do I... Let's go back to that computer right over there. Because it said something about the conveyor belt having a switch at the top, but... I don't know where to find it. Conveyor belt. The belt conveyor to the right can be reversed with a switch above it. There's a switch above it, but where is that switch? I don't see it. Is it the one to the left? Because if so, we don't have a way over here yet. How do I turn off that laser? <laughs> we need to figure out how to turn off that laser. Well, we're going to have to figure out how to turn off that laser in the next episode, because it's been 20 minutes, so I'll see you all then.